Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we're gonna make a racing game in scratch that just works with arrow keys like this. And so let's start. Here I have used a car and I have imported that costume and even you can draw or you can uh, take different Google. And here I have something like a racing line. So I have this put that. And backdrop also I have drawn as a circle and just um, the lines. So let's start. Uh, let's remove our cat and then let's convert it to bitmap. Let's go to outline and make this um, 1 maybe 200. Okay, and then we're going to just make this our trick rack. Okay, and then we're just going to change the fill of it to gray. Okay, now we have changed this to gray, and then um. I'm going to just change this. Okay, and then I'm just going to fill this with green. Okay, so now I've just filled the other backdrop with this, and we are just going to use this. Make this ten and. Just draw the lines on our track. Okay. And like that, you can make some lines on your track. Okay. Now we have our lines ready. Then, what we can do is we can first convert it to vector and um if you just do not like your lines or uh, before coloring you can do them now i'm going to import my car so so then i've imported my car and after that i'm going to go to looks and just make my car a little small okay so let me just change use the chain size yep have this here and I'm just going to do is minus 10 okay and then I'm just going to uh, come here and keep it there now we have our thing ready so let's start going then we have to bring our ventilate and uh, then what we have to do is we have to add we have to add the go to front layer or it uh, just goes to it may be also go to back layer like backdrop so let's add the go to front and then we are going to add the point and direction and now we are going to create a variable that says speed okay and let's set speed to zero and then we are going to bring a forever we are going to take an if like if else we are going to take if again we are um no this was only this will only be a if not an if else so again we'll bring an if okay so now we have bought our if again so then what we are going to do is this is for um in the track we are going to make it go fast and if it's not on the track we are going to make it slow and that depends on the uh, set change speed so then what we're going to do is we are going to go to operators and we're going to take not and we're going to go to sensing touching color and this color we'll take it from the eyedropper 
and we have took our color and then after that we are uh, doing the key up arrow and key down arrow pressed so we are going to go here and we are just going to bring key up arrow pressed so then again an if will come in there because we have to check that um uh it's lower uh so then again we'll bring speed here and then here i'll bring a six and then i'll bring an if statement and then here i'll bring my uh then what are we gonna do is we're gonna bring two variables and we're gonna change the speed and so that'll be um, 0 0.5 if you want more speed then you can just uh increase the speed and uh, not keep it at 0 0.5 as we need only that much so we're just keeping this much so then again we're gonna duplicate it and we're gonna put it in here and we are going to do it as down arrow and speed minus six and that will be minus 0 0.3 okay that will be minus 0 0.3 and the other thing the same but this much we're just going to duplicate it and put it in here and so we have this melody so but when it is not like when it is not on the track we want to make it go slower so like 0 0.1 and the other value of ours will be back will be z uh, minus 0 0.07 okay now we have this ready then what we're gonna do is we are going to bring another uh, when clicked and we are gonna bring this forever and if then inside it and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna always move speed steps move speed steps and then after that what we're gonna do as i can see we're gonna set the speed from all the time in the if statements we're just changing the speed so now we are gonna set the speed here and then uh we're gonna go to operators and we are going to make it as keep it here and make it as 0.95 Okay, and just do the speed. So now we have uh, speed as speed by dot nine five. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring two if statements. So if you want, you can also duplicate this. And what we can do is after that, we do not need this here, like this. Again, if statement here, and then we have to just do this. Uh, left arrow and right arrow pressed okay and then what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, just uh, add to motion for the right arrow and left arrow so that time we are only turning five degrees each if you want you can also add much okay now we have this ready so let's see our game now I'm just using the um, left and right arrow. It turns properly. And when I'm using the um, my up and down arrow key, that also works properly. So now we have our racing game ready. So now you can also make some uh, um, things like you can just paint and uh, uh, start line not so thin so you can just make this uh, something like five and you can just just draw the line and then what you can do is you just take this and put in here and then what you want to do is again we are going to create an uh, uh, variable called score okay and then what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna bring another when clicked and we're gonna say that uh, 
if then we're gonna bring if then if touching sprite one we want to increase the uh, score by one okay change the score by one so now we're just going to make it score by one now you'll see that it doesn't work because this is on the uh, back layer so what we're gonna do is we here we're just gonna bring and when clicked and forever so that it always goes to the uh, like front layer and so only the car can touch the uh, sprite one because that's on the back layer still so then after that what we're gonna do is we're just going to go to front uh, front layer always okay now let's start so now i've just used my right key and that all works for me like this you can make racing games and as you can see now if i just um touch the sprite one it should actually uh, just make the score by one but it should change score by one maybe we have to also set uh, actually we already set score so let's score to zero and that will be here so thank you all bye bye you can also make racing games like this